just add this MIG in and no power symptoms I'll just plug it in I've tested it to make sure there's no shorts, there isn't so it ain't going to explode but as soon as you switch it on no lights no power so let's do some testing, see if we can find out what it is so got no power so it's going to do some tests between the live and the neutral incoming and the incoming switch Seems to be quite a lot of uh, resistors there. That one's good, really low ohms. And that one's good, really low ohms. So I know that this cable's alright and the fuse is alright. So I'll just check the fuse on the board. Now usually the fuse on the board's gone. This light will still light up, but I'll just check it anyway, make sure it ain't blown. So really low ohms, that's good. And I'll just check the uh, thermal cutout as well. So really low ohms. So I know that the cable's all right to the incoming, Therm thermal switch is okay and on and the board fuse isn't blown at least so let's test the switch so I'm going to test between them both I'll put the continuity on so you can hear it so I've got the buzzer on, on, off, on, off so, I'll go to the other side, the neutral side, I think, no, the live side. So, no continuity on the switch, but I'll just take it out just to make sure. I don't know if I'm getting a good contact. Yeah, then so the switch is there. I'm, the, I'm doing all these tests with the electric off. No need to do live testing. So I'm behind them, between them, and there's definitely no continuity through that switch. So I reckon that switch is gone. I'll tell you what I could do, I could just jump it over just temporarily just to test it. I'll do that now. Okay, I'll jump at it. Just gonna make sure there's no short circuits. So that's 414 ohms, so no short circuit. Then there's continuity between the live and the neutral. Uh, the live and the live on the switch. So I'm just gonna turn it on and see if it powers up. Check to make sure there's no short circuit on the plug as well. Nothing. <laughs> okay, so that was it, just the plug.
Uh, I'll get some uh, water and gas and give it a proper test. Sorry, when I tested for a short across the plug, I should have had the switch on and off. So obviously if you turned it on and you were getting that, you don't want to be turning it on as you're going to have an explosion. 